I want to say this, Philip. I want to say this. Never negate the power of prayer. It no. just so happened. I don't think this is coincidental. It just so happened that word had gotten back to my local church congregation that I was dying that night. Yeah. And it was a Wednesday night. Well, of course, the church came in for midweek service and it just became an intercessory prayer service. And they said it was heavy and they prayed and they prayed and they prayed and they prayed, crying out to God, Lord, don't let our pastor die. And they were quoting no scriptures. You by your stripes, he's healed. And they were reminding God of his promises. And the word that my associate pastor then gave me was, he said, and suddenly we just felt like it lifted. He said, we knew we had an answer. We felt like God had heard us. And here I am asleep and the healing comes to me four hours away and touches my body and I'm healed. And I really believe it was because of the intercessory prayer that they were praying. And by the fact that I surrendered my, my situation to God and said, it's in your hands. You know? That's what yes, I, I mean, think. I was, I was watching Peter Jennings, the great ABC, when, when ABC News was a real, actually a news organization. And he did a yes. segment one time on ABC World News tonight and he spoke about the power of prayer that scientists had shown that laying hands on someone has a healing effect. And also, this blew my mind, that if people were praying for someone in a, in a different location to the person that was sick, it still had an impact on their health. And before the world and science recognizes that, it means that there's something in prayer. And I believe today, once again, I, I, a lot of times I just... I, 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 don't, I never ignore our audience, but I'm just aware that they're watching with me. But all day today, all during this hour with you, Steve, God's been talking to me about there's someone watching us. And they've been carrying a dead person, this, this old man that's been born again. It's, it's old things passed away. And there's deliverance for you and there's healing for you. It may be the same, per I don't know, maybe the same one person. But if you are watching us right now, is because God has a purpose. God is the, God is the greatest conservator of all times. He, he, God was green before they knew what green was, believe me. He doesn't do anything by chance. He doesn't do anything by happenstance. He works according to the purpose of his will. And if you knew mm. the precision of God's thought processes, that he opens his hand and satisfies the desire of every living thing, that this universe, mm. do you know there are more stars in the heavens than there, are, than there is sand on the seashore? Did you know that? And everything is no. working according to his will and counsel. It's mind blowing. And right in the middle of it, your name is written on the palm of his hands. And God arranged you to hear Steve today. I know he did. I know this testimony is relevant to you because you needed to hear this. And you've been saying, God, you've got to help me. And guess what? He heard your prayer. Yes. He loves you.